Collins M. No. Second to Music City. Top of the morning. Who else going? How's everybody doing? Good. Wait on Travis here. Come on, wait Travis, I'll wait on you, buddy. Oh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, just wanted to, to kind of address the roster um, so that uh, Rabel and, and those guys don't have to have to hopefully answer a bunch of questions. Um, we released uh, Richard Matthews uh, this morning, and, um, you know, that's that's kind of where we're at. Roster's at 52. Um, I appreciate what he's done for the team the uh, last couple of years. Um, but that's a decision that, that you know, kind of we came to. What's we'll answer beef, a couple John? questions. What's his beef? Well, you know, I think it's his his role and, and his his use in, in, in the offense. Um, I think he spoke to that uh, last week when you guys um, asked him, uh, not to put words in, in his mouth, um, but he just he reached out to me Monday and, and asked to be uh, released or, or, or traded. And uh, we explored the trade option and um, with several teams, and I would say that market never really manifested itself um, to, to get a deal there. Bound to increase as he got healthier and the offense went along. Did you discuss? I personally it did. Him? Yeah, I personally did. I, I, you know, I thought that, you know, he missed a lot of time uh, with, with injuries. Was hampered in training camp. I thought he was coming back, and, um, you know, he, he was he was working hard at practice. Uh, he was even running some some scout teams when we when we had some some guys down. He was practicing hard, and um, and I was looking forward to him getting back into to kind of what we've seen from him the last uh, couple years on the field. But he just felt that, you know, that that wasn't happening. You know, was there back and forth, or was it a cut, you know, cold and hard decision on his part, or you know, was he open to maybe coming back if things were? You know, well, I think better? I think Monday, like it had reached that it had reached a you know kind of maybe a point a point over time for him, and um, you know I told him several times, several times that you know I, I know you can help this football team. Um, I've believed in him. Um, that's why we signed him a couple years ago, and he's he's been good for our football team the last couple of years, and. Um, he he was just at, at a point where he, he 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 couldn't he couldn't get over that. So you, about you the group the, you have right now, John, as far as the remaining players, how, how can you win with the five you have? And obviously, you have one with the five you have. Uh, so sure. Far. Well, I think it's going to be like we had, you know, with some of the injuries at the other positions. It's going to, you know, guys are going to have to continue to make plays, and uh, whether it's Taewon or or Corey or or, or Darius or Tajay, uh, Nick Williams, um, Batson's on the practice squad. He had a great day yesterday. Um, you know those guys are going to have to step up. You know, just like we, you know, we've done at other positions when when we've had guys dinged, whether it was Gabbert going in, um, in the Houston game, or, or our tackle situation. You worried it's going to be seen in the locker room as that he quit on the team. Uh, it, that, you know, I've said this before. I love this. I love this bunch of guys uh, that are here. This locker room. It's a it's a tight group of guys um, that believe in what we're what we're doing. And um, you know, like I've said, we 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 talked about it. We've addressed it with them, and um, we, we've moved on. Did, did he quit on the team, John? How long was he unhappy? And did you have prior discussions? How late did that date back? Um, yeah, again, it was really last week when, when I was kind of um, – he came and, and we sat down and talked uh, about it. And, um, you know, we played a Sunday in the game, and then Monday it was kind of when, when it really, um, I would say, kind of ended for him. So. You didn't talk about how things were handled with his injury. It's a training camp to, to OTAs. That, that, that was um, no, I mean, it, w w with an injury standpoint, it was about getting him back healthy to where he felt good um, to go out and play at the level that he had played at the, the previous two years. And um, we never want to put a player out there uh, too soon if they don't feel like they're ready. Um, and, and that was you know something that we're very conscious with with every player. Do you view it as him quitting on the team? Um, I, you know, I think, again, I think, that, that Richard uh, could help this team. I told him that several times, and um, he he felt he felt differently. You know, he felt like he he needed to move on, and um, you know that's that's what we've done. Why did he sign an extension five weeks ago? Again, because I think that was he you know he viewed him himself you know being here and um, being involved, and for whatever reason that he he just felt like he didn't. Any implications? Does he owe you money? Yeah, that's that's a confidential thing um, that I really can't get into the details on. You're not swallowing his entire cap number for this year, are you? Again, that's a confidential deal I can't get into the details on. When you guys signed uh, him initially, did you hope or feel that he was kind of a more mature player than he had been as early as that, that maybe some of this kind of thing had been left behind back when you initially signed him? Um, 
No, again, I think, like I said, I think his, he's he, he, in Miami. What we saw was it was a tough player, uh, was a gritty player, a guy that could you know get open and, and catch, and 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 he was strong with the ball in his hands. And I think he's shown that the last uh, two years. And I think he, I, again, I keep coming back to. I personally think he was getting back to that for us, um, but he just saw the situation different. Did this offense fit him, or would it have fit him? Sure, sure, absolutely. Guys that can get open, catch and block, like that's the at, at the core. That's the that's the job description of the receivers. So, wide receiver core is is Des Bryant an option to, to, to talk to or at least to, to bring in for a workout? Uh, again, I think that's something we're going through now. Is just going through and looking at all the players uh, that are available and, and that are out there and that are going to fit our football team, going to fit our culture uh, here with the Titans. And uh, again, we're we're looking at at at, at all players. Five or, or is this roster kind of demand six? Um, that's something that Vrabel and I will, will const, you know, we'll have some dialogue. You know, we've already had some this morning, and and we'll have you know the rest of the week as we get ready for uh, for Philly here. You think you just ride fifty-two for now, but you can kind of late in the week to be doing something, or is it a possibility? Yeah, that's pro- that'll probably be the case. Yeah, we probably won't we probably won't add anybody um, right off you know right off the bat here, but uh, that could change. Last one. Ben Mario's injury impacted this. Season of his lack of targets, just the whole quarterback situation. Again, I, I don't know. I don't want to speculate on you know this caused that or that caused this. Um, at the end of the day, um, we've made a decision and, and we've moved on, and, and, and he's moved on as well. Is there any stipulations that don't allow him to go wherever he wants right now? Again, I've, the, the the releases, the, the details are confidential. I can't really uh, can't really get into all that. Some sort of agreement that entails something beyond the norm that's confidential. Again. For the third time, the details are confidential. I can't get into it. Did you consider, Last one. Did you consider putting him on the uh, reserve left squad list? Um, again, there was a lot of there was a lot of things that we could have, we could have have done. Um, we went through it, you know, all we followed the rules. That's the one thing. That's the first thing we did. We got the personnel handbook out. We looked at all the rules, and, and we looked at everything that we could we could potentially do. And at the end, this made the most sense for us. Thanks. Thank you.